I'm not sure how well this video is going to go. Apparently, there is root for the very latest version of Android on the Asus Transformer Prime. You can see that we are on version 4.1.1, and build number 10.4218. I was having issues with my Transformer Prime, so I loaded the stock. Uh, so let's see if this thing has a file. Yeah, file manager, and then micro SD you can see that there was an update and I applied it I had Torp recovery but I applied that and now I have no recovery I do not have root access I have n almost no apps installed see? no super user at all I installed speed test and Netflix that's about it and dice player so uh, let's root it first thing you're gonna want to do is go to settings and then go to developer options make sure that it's on which you'll see up here that it is Android debugging is checked and I like to show touches it's not anything recommend that you need to um, do by default so we're going to take this and we're going to plug it into our little netbook here and this will root even if you have a locked bootloader and you won't even have custom recovery after you do this, so it's pretty freaking dope. Connected as media device. What I did was I went in here, and if you go to Asus Customize Setting, I disabled this right here. That's the only thing I've done. I signed up my Google account, updated the apps, and that's about it. So on the computer, we it's installing the drivers right there. Transform Prime TF201. Alright, so that's done. We need to go to this Moto Chopper Zip. You'll, it's basically a zip, and you unzip it, and you drag the folder onto your desktop. And when you open it up, you'll have a few files in here. The one you'll need to worry about is run.bat. I, I want to get both of these in the thing at the same time, so... You'll just basically click on it. If you're not administrator, meaning you have UAC disabled, you'll right click on it and choose run as administrator. I have or UAC enabled. I have UAC disabled, so I don't have to do that. For you, it'll probably say please press enter or continue or allow. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that. Waiting for device. Damien now running. Damien started successfully. Pushing exploit. And we, we, this thing is completely stock, no root access, no customer recovery, nothing. But apparently people are saying this works. So, press any key, tablet now reboots. Let's see, device is unlocked. Mine's unlocked, yours doesn't have to be unlocked. You originally had to be unlocked in order to install custom recovery. And once you had custom recovery, then you could apply super SU or super user while you're in Twerp recovery. So, we're pretty much done with the computer now. <laughs> I'm a dork. Okay, so unlock it. Now I'm gonna go to our app drawer. We should super user. Freaking super user. Look at that. That's awesome. That is freaking awesome. So we can go to the Play Store and download Root Checker and then you can click the first one I paid for it so I'm going to go ahead and do the Pro version come on install this thing was running terribly slow and then rebooting and everything I was going to install the same 10.1 because I'm sick and tired of waiting for ASUS to release 
freaking 4.2 for the Transformer Prime. It's like they neglected it. This is so freaking easy. Almost anybody could can do this. Agree. Press OK. Verify root. Ha <laughs> ha We have root. We freaking have root. And we didn't have to go and install, you know, Twerp Recovery or anything like that. Super user is not installed. What the heck? It says we have root right there. And I'll power it off real quick. And I'll show you that I do not have custom recovery. So that means, because you have to be unlocked in order to install custom recovery. And since we now have root without installing custom recovery, it, the, it, unlocking your bootloader is pointless. Unless you want to install a custom ROM. You want to install a custom ROM, then you need to do that. So, real quick, we're just going to press these two buttons, volume down and power. And then we're going to press volume up. And we're going to see... I don't even remember what we're going to see here, because we don't have custom recovery installed. <laughs> see? No custom recovery. And to get it to power on, you just simply hold this down for like 10 seconds and it'll force it to reboot. You do not have custom recovery. You do not have to be unlocked. You can be you can buy your Transformer Prime tomorrow or today. It'll have 104218 or I think that's what it was and you can run Moto Chopper and root it without unlocking it. Now we can install apps like Titanium Backup, um, BusyBox, um, whatever you want and you have root so yeah. Turret recovery. Unfortunately, you can't use Goo Manager because Goo Manager cannot detect whether you have the Jelly Bean bootloader or the Ice Cream Sandwich bootloader, which is two different ones. And I will keep y'all up to date. I promise you. The moment I hear about 4.2 official being released of the Transformer Prime, I'll be doing a video on it. And then once we get root for it, if unless it's the same exact method as I did in my previous video, then I'll, because I'll probably fix this exploit. But as of right now, I mean, this is, this is freaking, this is awesome. So, T-I-T-A, Titanium Backup, install, install, accept, and come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, open. Um, allow. This is awesome. We have root, and it was so simple. Just run a bat file. Dot bat. Oh, it probably wants us to do unknown sources. So that's here. Settings. And then security, and then unknown sources. Okay, go back to titanium backup menu, reload application. Bam, I keep the new ID. I that's what I always do. So there we go, and I can go to like plume. And I can restore at plus data install. I, I'll, I'll load the pro version where you don't have to press install. And so done. And then also the premium. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it restores the app and then the data separately. Okay. I'm still used to having pro. I, I have pro. I just, I don't like installing the app from the Play Store because it puts a permanent file on your thing and I like using a text file done so before this video ends all right so if we go to our app drawer we should see plume sweet and I can I'll make sure that there's nothing yeah see at first it shows your I follow some people that post stuff that people shouldn't see there we go Boom, look at that, bam. Anyways, this video's about to end. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.